Cruise news. There has been a terrible cruise excursion tragedy in the Caribbean. You need to be aware regarding this excursion. I'm going to get you the details. Plus, I have cruise news updates from Carnival Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, and more. And I'm going to get you all the information fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick this off with number one, a cruise ship has departed a port early due to protesters. The cruise ship was the Astoria Grande. This ship is owned by Russian investors and was carrying Russian tourists at the time. The cruise encountered the protesters when docking at a port in the country of Georgia. The protest was against the war in Ukraine and also cited past aggression in Georgia itself. Number two, we have a hurricane season update. There are two weather disturbances currently being tracked. The first is identified by this orange X and it is currently moving north and it has been given a 40% chance of cyclone formation in the next 48 hours. The second is identified by this yellow X and it is currently not expected to form into a cyclone. Now I sometimes get asked why I refer to cyclone formation when giving these updates. The simple answer is that I am being sure to give you the exact information that is given by the National Hurricane Center. But if you are interested in the proper usage of the various storm related terms, I'm going to share two paragraphs from the National Ocean Service down in the video description. These paragraphs, they are very good, they are clearly stated, and they give really the background for the usage of hurricane, typhoon, cyclone, tropical storm, tropical depression, all of that, it's down in the video description. Moving on to number three, Carnival Cruise Line has released an updated cruise director schedule. This new schedule includes not only the information regarding which cruise directors will be on which ships for the rest of this year, it also includes the full schedule for 2024. If you want to see what cruise director will be on your Carnival Cruise, I will put the full schedule information down in the video description. Next, number four, the stoppage of one of Alaska's most popular excursions may be averted. The railroad workers for the White Pass and Yukon Route Railroad excursion were set to potentially go on strike in early August. The railroad excursion takes a scenic 110 mile journey from Skagway, Alaska to Whitehorse in Yukon, Canada. Thankfully, an agreement with workers has tentatively been reached that will run through 2027. Final approvals are pending. Then, number five, a cruise passenger recently set up a custom movie theater in their interior stateroom on a Carnival cruise. They used magnetic hooks to attach a projector to the ceiling and a screen to the wall. Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador John Hild quickly chimed in, noting the safety issue and stating that they do allow magnets, but not for this. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but quick question, chime in below. Regarding this ingenious but unsafe and unauthorized use of magnetic hooks, here's a question. Do you use magnetic hooks when you go on a cruise? Chime in down below with A for yes or B for no. Also, what do you use the magnetic hooks for if you do bring them? Chime in below with that. I will love reading those, but now on with the cruise news. Number six, Crystal Cruises has announced plans to triple their fleet in the next six years. The newly revived luxury cruise line currently has two ships, the Symphony and the Serenity. They have now announced that they will build four more ships. They have said that two would be classic ships and the other two would be expedition vessels. This signals that the company is likely planning itineraries to more remote and exotic locations. Then, number seven, two sisters from the MSC Seascape have been arrested for drug smuggling. The arrests were made by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol officers upon their return to Port Miami on July 23rd. It turns out that both sisters obtained a dark-colored backpack while they were at port in Jamaica. Two packages of cocaine were sewn into each backpack. The total weight was 4.75 kilograms. The street value for these drugs is as much as $40,000. Both sisters are denying knowledge of the drugs. But based upon phone records and other evidence, authorities think otherwise. Next, number eight, the Carnival Sunrise cruise ship has experienced some air conditioning issues. This occurred last week. The air conditioning problems resulted in some staterooms and public areas reaching temperatures over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Carnival brought on some special technicians that fixed the problem prior to the end of the cruise. To compensate, Carnival provided guests with a 50% refund of the cruise fare for each day the problem existed. This was given as onboard credit. 
Number 9. Royal Caribbean has delivered record-breaking results. The cruise company recently provided their financial results for the second quarter, and it was the best ever. The company has now raised their annual projected earnings by 33%. During the second quarter, the company had revenues of $3.5 billion, net income of $459 million, and they reduced debt by $1.6 billion. It is good to see the industry start to recover. Then, number 10, a tragic accident has occurred during a cruise excursion in Belize. An eight-year-old Colorado boy and his family were on a carnival cruise this past week. When the ship arrived in Belize, the family did a horseback riding excursion and that is when things went wrong. The boy was badly injured. The family heard yelling and when they looked up, they saw the saddle had flipped upside down and the young boy was being dragged by the horse. The boy ended up with third degree burns, a skull fracture, and a brain contusion. The mother began to cry out for help for someone to assist in getting her boy back to the U.S. That is when a Colorado-based ambulance company called Peak Medivac intervened and brought the family home at no charge to the family. So that is a great act of charity by Peak Medivac, and we are praying for this young boy as he is beginning to slowly recover. But I also want you to be aware of this horseback riding excursion in Belize. I'm not sure of exactly which company it was with, and accidents can happen. However, something wasn't done right. So choosing a horseback riding excursion in Belize may be something you want to avoid right now, or at least if you do a horseback riding excursion in Belize, be sure that you check things out and ask questions regarding safety. My part in this is I just want you to be informed. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we will catch you in the next video.